Do you know that? Your internal visualization and imagination are constantly creating your reality. You have internal thoughts, and then those thoughts lead to feelings and external actions. And while no one knows exactly where our thoughts are located, we do know that almost all of our imaginative thoughts have internal visions associated with them. So instead of allowing every random thought in your head to lead you around into unwanted feelings and actions, you can use your thoughts for positive outcomes. By using your imagination, you can train your mind to internally create what you want in your life. This is done using visualization techniques, and this article will explain how to develop and flex your visualization muscle. Imagination The Superhero of the Mind the imagination is your manifestation co-pilot. If you're starting with only a dream, then you simply begin here, where you are with whatever you have, using the power of your creative imagination. Ideas are creations, so you can create something out of nothing by beginning with ideas. All artists, inventors, innovators, disruptors and dreamers start here. You're in good company. This is also known as visual imagery or visualization meditation. I personally believe that imagination and infinity are the same thing. So let's be infinite in our thinking about what we want. This is the time to play big. I spend at least one hour a day in imagination mode. This is my favorite part of the day because for that one hour I am amazing and I have the most fantastic life, sometimes several lives, in the universe. What is the life you would truly love living? What does that look like? How do you feel in this dream life? Most people cannot quickly answer these questions and never spend time contemplating them. Even those who dare to dream about a few things they would love to have in their lives can get discouraged when they realize that they don't know how to get those things or belief that those things are just not possible for them. And as a result, we seem to be very skilled at imagining what can go wrong, what we don't have, or what we don't want in our lives. While there is some value in knowing what we don't want, it can be detrimental to dwell on what we don't want, and we totally underestimate the immense power of focusing on what we do want. Read that sentence again. Beware of negative imagination. Do you know that the subconscious mind can't tell the difference between a real event and one that is intensely imagined? Just thinking about an argument we had with someone yesterday can send us into a rage all over again. And these mere thoughts have physical consequences. Our bodies can enter the fight-or-flight mode of stress and remain compromised for days, weeks, or even years. Even worrying that we might have a fatal health condition, for example, can put our body in a state of stress, causing it to release his cortisol, a stress hormone that doctors know can have serious health consequences. Fearful thoughts can also cause physical symptoms such as rashes, cold sores, headaches, and immune system weakness. Imagination Power Conversely, we can find ourselves flooded with gratitude when we think about someone we love. We may smile when we think about something we did with friends a few days ago. I get warm, fuzzy thoughts when I think about hugging my cat. We might even be in a state of excitement over a future event, such as a new job we haven't started, a planned date with someone special, or being chosen for an important position. Further, doctors also know the mysterious positive powerful effect that a placebo, inert sugar pill, can have on someone's health. It is well documented that people can become cured of illness when they simply believe that they've taken medicine. A placebo contains no medicine, and there are also documented cases of folks healing their health condition by visualizing healing in their body. Choosing what to visualize. The good news is that we get to choose what we think about, especially when the event isn't actually happening in this moment. Even negative thoughts that seem to show up uninvited can be dismissed once we become aware of them. Visualizing what we want in our lives is critical to manifestation. All manifested outcomes must occupy the mind first. 
It is impossible to open the gateway to having what you want if you don't actually think about it first. And we are always visualizing something, so it's important to take charge of those thoughts. Thoughts do not self-direct. Only you can decide to create something positive, or just continue with the way things have always been. Visual Imagery Meditation, the seeds of manifestation. The path to getting what your heart desires begins with clarity. You must be very clear about what you want. And once you have that clarity, the journey begins. Step 1. Having Clarity This is really a fun exercise if you will truly allow yourself to flow into it. It can also take time to become clear on what you want, as some old mental thought habits will be present. Spend time with this part of the process, and also modify your vision over time as more ideas come to you, or as you realize that you may not really want something that you previously considered important. Think about a life you would really love living. Think big. This is not the time to play small or just think about what you think is possible. Ignore thoughts about what other people want you to do if those thoughts do not resonate for you. This is your time to imagine a life where you will sincerely say, I love my life. You want to have a vision that makes you think, yeah, if I had that life, I would love it. And this is the time to be very specific. What exactly would your health and finances be like? How would you like to spending your time? Are there relationships you would like to begin or improve in your life? What skills do you have? Do you have a career? Do you belong to any groups? For example, you might say, I am earning at least a six-figure income this year. I weigh 150 pounds. I am able to ride a bike, and I visit with my family four times per year. I am taking a vacation this year to the Bahamas, and I'm finally moving into a larger house with four bedrooms and a two-car garage. I've learned how to play guitar, and I also volunteer at the shelter. I am working for myself, and I'm only working 20 hours per week. If you get stuck on imagining a life you would love, think about a life that someone you know has, that you would also love to have. You can even think about historical figures or famous people, alive or no longer living. It doesn't matter as long as it inspires your imagination. Step 2. Dwelling and Rehearsing As soon as you are very clear about the life you would love living, it's time to begin manifesting it. You cannot skip this step. The law of attraction works the way it works, and not the way you want it to work. It requires that you have every part of your thoughts and energy invested so that all opportunities will show up in your awareness. In the beginning of this journey, you will need to set aside time to intentionally dwell on this vision and rehearse it in your mind. In the same way that we dwell on things to worry about by engaging our whole mind and body, you will need that same magnitude of energy and effort to dwell on the things you do want. Some people refer to this as meditation, and others refer to it simply as thinking or visualizing. It is a deep contemplation where you sink into the feeling state of already having what you are desiring. You become like an actor in your own movie. You become the part. Some simple examples of this are when you imagine in advance how you'll feel when you're in your new home, your new job, or that excitement you have about the upcoming wedding. In both scenarios, you're playing out how you're going to feel in those circumstances, as if you're rehearsing them through your thoughts and attention. You can also use vision boards to assist you with recalling what is important to you. Step 3. The path set aside time for your visualization, even if it's just for 10 minutes a day initially. The more time you engage in this, the faster you'll begin to sow the seeds of manifestation. During this exercise, you must imagine that you already have the health, wealth, freedom, and relationships you want. You must get into the feeling that goes with having these things. Ideally, if you can begin the dwelling exercise for 30, 60 minutes twice a day, it will start to become automatic throughout the entire day. This is the beginning of the path. I spend at least one hour a day in this place of imagination, dwelling on the amazing life I'm manifesting. It is most ideal to not be disturbed during this period, 
and to be relaxed in a comfortable position. As you start to visualize and dwell on your thoughts, play the movie in your mind about the things you wish to manifest. Breath deeply. Deep breathing is a way to alert the body that it is okay to relax now. If you find that your mind wanders or you begin to have negative thoughts, just acknowledge them and send them on their way. Then resume your visualization. This exercise is quite exhilarating and the main purpose to really putting yourself in the shoes of yourself living a life you love is so that you can begin to become the essence of that life. There is magic in this that is beyond explanation. You want to imagine that your dreams are now a reality. You imagine you already have your ideal health. You're already enjoying that vacation, and you already have your finances at a point that is ideal for you. Your relationships are all working exactly as you desire. Step 4. Start being aware of helpers and opportunities. At the end of this very powerful daily exercise, you will shift back to your now. If possible, use your new skills to stay grounded in what is happening in the moment and notice if you find yourself getting trapped in any negative thoughts. Over time, you will be able to pop out of negative thoughts, but the first step is to just be aware. Visualization with the law of attraction is a way of life. Now comes the magic. As soon as you begin focusing on being in the life you'd love to have, you will need to be aware of opportunities that are opening up to you. Opportunities will often show up in the form of helpers. Helpers are people who you have probably not yet met. Opportunities are already out there and do not need to be created. When you start focusing on what you want, these opportunities will start to begin to move into focus for you. When the opportunities and helpers show up, it is important to take them. You must be willing to receive. Do not dismiss helpers and opportunities. They have appeared because you have reached out to them through your manifestation practice. Some helpers and opportunities may seem small, but they might be gatekeepers or connectors to another helper or opportunity. They could simply be pointing you in the right direction if you get off course. Stay on the path. It is important to do what you can with what you have. In the beginning, you may only have your imagination. This is the entry onto the path. As opportunities and helpers arrive, they are going to guide you along the path. The law of attraction will gently nudge or pull you at times. Go along with that pull and stay focused. You cannot know how everything will be created. The how shifts and moves along the path. Even the headlights of a car cannot know the entire route of the trip, but they'll always light the next 20, 30 feet. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.